Hello, welcome to Neatbox Laboratories, and today I'd like to show you the air cooled prototype. The thought behind this design is to use a centrifugal blower to replace the stock fans on Cryptominer and to eliminate the noise, create, a, create more airflow, and to obtain a larger air pressure so that the hot air can be redirected to a useful purpose or removed more easily. Uh, the prototype is set up with four S9 amp miners running Brains OS and operating at 1450 watts each. Uh, this design is intended to use with two S19 style miners. The box is built out of 5 8 inch Baltic birch plywood and is finished with uh, Man of War Marine spar varnish. Uh, this construction is very sturdy and it's actually how boats built so it's possible to use this box outside. The blower I used is a Granger 1X JX9 which is a one-third horsepower unit that can deliver between 800 and 1600 CFM. Uh, the box measures 47 inches long, uh, 20 inches wide and 17 inches tall. There are also two 14 inch pleated air filters, uh, one on each side. So let's take a closer look at its construction inside. So the unit consists of three sections, the blower section, a plenum section, and the minor section. Uh, the blower section holds the uh, blower, which is a 110 volt unit, uh, and I have it wired up via three position switch, uh, and it can also be fitted with a speed regulator. The uh, plenum section we'll, we'll cover here in a second. Uh, and this is the minor section which holds four S9s. And it's made so that this uh, bulkhead to which the miners are mounted to can be removed and replaced down the line. Uh, if your needs change, you know, you want to change your miners or do a different setup, um, you don't have to change your whole entire box. So this is the plenum section which is incorporated to allow the airflow to develop since the the opening on the blower doesn't quite match up the opening for the miners. So when running this unit uh, at low speed is about 75 decibels. However what I found uh, was that the airflow tends to produce a particular whistle at about one kilohertz which I thought was rather annoying and in order to solve this I tried a few number of different things um, I think the whistle is due to a phenomenon known as the aeolian tone uh, which occurs when um, airflow strikes a fin and I tried a few different things to fix this including uh, some kind of turbulence generator including like ribbons or try putting foam in this section um, so currently I have this baffle in the middle that redirects the flow a little bit that seems to help a good bit um, when I talk to you know a number of my minor friends they seem to think the the whistle isn't such a huge deal especially since this is made to be ducted into a system or placed outside so let's try turning the fan on and see how it sounds. This is the low setting at which this machine draws about uh, 1.7 amps or about 200 watts. The medium setting and the high setting. Um, I don't have the miners running, but the fans on the power supplies do add a significant amount of noise, and I have not found a way to eliminate that. For the next part, I was able to borrow a T17 and an S17 for testing purposes. Um, this T17 runs Brains OS, um, so I can run it without the fans. However, this S17, uh, I was not able to get the brains running on it. I think the SD card is broken. Uh, so it just serves as a basically a dummy 
test piece. In order to fit everything inside nice and clean, uh, what I did is 3D print these fan spacers. Um, and these are five inches long and they move the miners uh, five inches from the bulkhead and because of the form factor of these cases it's quite difficult to put it you know directly flush with the bulkhead over here and uh, in this configuration it makes everything cleaner and the air flows in the original factory direction uh, I also removed this baffle that was in the center section and from my experience it was not needed because of the different heat sink design on these miners uh, I did not have any issues with the high-pitched whistling of the S9s. So the T17 runs at about 1800 watts and at an ambient temperature of approximately 80 degrees Fahrenheit which is about the uh, as warm as it has been over here during testing, uh, I can keep chip temperatures in the mid to high 70 C range. Um, swapping the miners from either side, or the running miner rather, uh, I don't see any differences in performance. Now the S19s run at a much higher power level. Uh, I don't have one obviously to test, but I, this fan here delivers at least as much, I think significantly more air flow than the uh, stock setup on the S19. So I think if you had two S19s in here, you would have at least as much cooling as the factory setup, but at a much lower noise level. With both the miner's power supplies turned on and the blower at the highest setting, uh, this box runs in the high 70 decibel range at the outlet but if we were to walk around you know drops towards about 70 degrees depending on where you're at uh, but most importantly there's not the high-pitched 1 kilohertz noise that existed with the 4S9s uh, so this is quite tolerable um, perhaps you may not want it in your living room but it's it's a lot quieter and more manageable than the factory fans. The last configuration I tried is to replace the one-third horsepower blower with this one horsepower blower. Uh, and this is the Granger 1XJY3, uh, which is a one horsepower device rated at 2700 cubic feet per minute at 1.2 inches of uh, water static pressure. Um, as you can see, it doesn't quite fit into the box, so you can't get the filtration out of it. It's a, a good bit taller, a little bit longer. Uh, this length here can be accounted for, but uh, this height here is a bit of an issue to get everything to fit into the box. When we turn it on, you can see it's, uh, it's a good bit louder, it's pushing towards 80 decibels, especially on the output end. The amount of air coming off of this though is a lot more. I mean, you can feel it like a good three feet away from the box. My overall impressions of this and from running this box is that this will work quite well for the S17 type miners. I have not tried an S19, but I think it will work very well as well. Uh, this is not a good choice for the S9s because of the high pitched whistle. I think that negates most of the advantage of this. Uh, I think it would be interesting to try something like a What's Miner, which has a similar profile to a very large S9, to see how it would work. My overall personal preference is still towards immersion cooling, but I also like such things personally. Uh, this might be a good choice if it fits your personal circumstances and you don't, you're not in a very hot environment. and perhaps you don't want to mess with the liquids involved in immersion cooling. My original thought for this, if anyone was interested, was to see if a local cabinet shop could make this as a kit of panels. You can just bolt together, uh, finish, you know, buy the blower separately, and assemble at home. Uh, however, the price of wood, unlike our bags, has quadrupled in the last year. 
And furthermore, getting pricing, uh, you know, getting a quote on anything of the sort is, is very volatile. So it's, the prices are only good for maybe a day or two after I get the quote. So I don't know if I can give you an actual price on this at the moment. But if uh, there's enough interest, I can work something up. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I would be very interested to hear from you and your uh, thoughts and opinions on this topic.